The red-green refactor methodology is just one strategy for writing unit tests, but there are others. This is a strategy that is followed by a lot of people who do unit testing, which is why it is important to understand. So what is red-green refactor? As you may have noticed, a failing test shows in red and a passing one in green. So this method relies on writing a test which fails first and then writing the code necessary to make the test pass. Then you refactor your code to improve your code quality. You then repeat the tests again and if they fail, red, you again modify the code until the tests are green and refactor again as necessary. You might go through this cycle only once or you might repeat it multiple times until you have your code at an acceptable level. So there are a few things you should remember about writing effective unit tests. First, the test must be able to fail. If a test can never go red, it's worthless and shouldn't be there. Second, the test must be able to pass. If a test has impossible criteria and will never go green again, it shouldn't be there. Third, the test must be refactored and kept simple. This is important to eliminate redundant tests, repeated setup, or otherwise repetitive code. If two tests are identical, one of them should be deleted. Let's give the red-green refactor cycle a test drive, only this time we'll run all the reds. The first step is to write a test that fails. In order to test the clear function, you need to first have the calculator return the current displayed result. Otherwise, how do you know that the displayed value was cleared after you call the clear method? So let's write a test method to check the displayed value returned by the calculator class. First, we write a line that adds two integers, 2 plus 2. Next, I get the value from the result variable. Finally, I call XC assert to make sure that the results of the calculator matches the results of the calculation. At this point, you will see an Xcode error about results not existing. Don't be alarmed. This is actually part of the red-green refactor process. You first write the unit test, but the test might refer to elements that your code currently does not have, and the first step is to add the minimal amount of code necessary to have the code compile. To do this, I create a new variable. This is a read-only variable. You don't want any classes outside of the calculator to set the value for result since that can result, no pun intended, in the displayed result value being corrupted by an external class. With that simple change, your Xcode errors go away and you are ready to run your test. Run it and see what happens. The test is red, right? Mission accomplished for this phase. You have a test in the red state. Now you need to make it green. This is again a fairly simple change. In calculator.swift, remove the var before result in the first evaluate method. You simply remove the local variable result. What happens is that the evaluate method refers to the result property instead of the result local variable. And that's it. Now run your test again. Success. You are through the green phase as well.